Hey there, welcome back guys to another Destiny 2 video, with today's topic covering 3 key exotics that I believe you should implement into your builds again with the recent buff given. Fellwinter's Helm, Severance Enclosure and Assassin's Cow are 3 exotics that rely on the user to use powered melee kills or finishers to activate them, and with their abilities come the builds you can create around them. However, because our limited charge melee abilities are within each subclasses and how they generally work with enemies, there's not a lot of customization to offer to players that will make them endgame worthy. A prime example of this is using Severance Enclosure with Military, Zola, and using the powered Throwing Hammer to activate the Exotic's trait. On paper, it sounds great and explosive to use, but in action, your explosions will only proc on you and not on the enemy. This leaves a sour taste in most players' mouth considering how cool the combos can be. Another one is using Military Arc with Fell Winter's Helm and using the Ball Lightning ability to proc it. Same thing as Severance, it doesn't proc on enemies' bodies but rather on yours and can be wasteful if no enemies are nearby. I believe the only exotic that actually works as intended is Assassin's Cow, as an exotic trait offers you invisibility, so as long as you get powered melee kills, you should be fine elsewise. With how they generally work, I would say they fall in the niche category, where they have their place in low to mid level content like Strikes or Gambit, but anything higher, and requiring users to play it safe, is where the exotics can fall off drastically, except for maybe Assassin's Cow. But this has been changed now thanks to the Seasonal Splicer patch that was introduced not so long ago. Within these notes, Bungie have made some adjustments to how the free exotics activate. They have made the following. Now every time you get a charge melee kill on enemy, the effects from the exotic will pop off their body instead of yours. And secondly, they now work on stasis charge melee kills. Now both of these effects are great as now, both their winters and severance effects are much more larger than they were ever before, and the fact that we can use stasis with exotics now means we can become even more deadly in up close engagements. The main key thing to take away here is how previous builds based around them have been buffed in the mean run. So that means mid tree solar titan with severance now has a thrown hammer that upon impact can detonate and wipe out a group of enemies in one blast, with no cooldown involved. Fair Winter's Helm, we can now use our ranged melee attacks to proc the debuff at a safe distance, and Assassin's Cow pretty much had no change whatsoever. But what about the stasis buff alongside them you say? Well this is where I find exotics to be the most useful compared to what the light subclasses offer. Our stasis subclass not only have great charge melee attacks at our helm, but also the fragments alongside them can buff them further beyond doubt. The status as a whole is an oppressive subclass to face and very handy for crowd control or shutting down 1v1s. Now imagine how creative you can get by combining them with the exotics. But let me give you an example. The clip you have been watching is a preview of a build I have been working on for the Warlock and the idea is to utilise my Penumbral Blast on red bar enemies to one shot them and activate their fell winters in the process. By doing what I do, I can create an unlimited amount of status shards in the process that will refill my melee bar all the way back up again and I can repeat non-stop. This of course has been very interesting to play around with as I can freeze and debuff everyone near me and I can see this working in high level content but not anything like Grandmaster's level. Now this is just a small snippet as to how the buff applied by Bungie has made the exotics even more practical and better with a good subclass to boot. It won't be game changing, but it will offer players a wide scope of using exotics in full and not need to worry about the limitations being involved with them. So in general, if you have Fairwinder's Helm, Severance Enclosure or Assassin's Cow, I recommend you dust them off, get a mini focus build together and look at how wondrous the exotics have become with the current season's update, you will not be disappointed. So if you enjoyed the video then please do leave a like and a sub and also follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with Destiny or Time for 2 lore content if you dig that type of stuff, link is down below. But once again thanks for stopping by and I'll see you on the next one.